a couple of years ago, we studied in the Netherlands whether incentive spirometry was able to prevent acute chest syndrome in patients admitted for a phase of occlusive crisis. Acute chest syndrome normally develops a couple of days after initiating of a phase of occlusive crisis. And by preventing atelectasis of the lung by incentive spirometry, the idea was that it might prevent acute chest syndrome, which is a syndrome with a multifactorial cause causes like infection, like uh, fat embolism, um, coagulation activation, all kinds of things, but also hypoventilation, and especially the incentive spirometry might prevent that. An earlier study, years ago done in pediatric um, uh, hematology, showed an advantage. However, in our study, we couldn't show an advantage. Although you might say, yeah, the, the inclusion rate was not so high, so maybe it was underpowered. Uh, we saw some advantage in some patients, but not significantly. So I think this study was negative, but still I'm not quite sure that incentive spirometry might not prevent acute chest syndrome. I think a proper study needs to be repeated.